what's up guys? How are you guys doing today? It is me, Quinkin, and welcome back to another episode of the IOX Career Mode, Season 1, Episode Number 8 of this beautiful career mode. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying it so far. I'm having fun doing these, and this is the first post-com episode that I'm gonna do. I want to change it up today, so uh, that is what we're gonna do today. And if you guys don't know the IOX career mode, I started this a couple months ago, so the squad I have isn't up to date. So I'm gonna tell you guys the players I'm gonna get rid of uh, in the January transfer window. So Stefano Densville is a player that I'm gonna have to sell, and we are also gonna have to bring back from loan uh, Sports Lead and Malek. So we're gonna bring those players back from loan, and we're gonna sell Stefano Densville because at the moment, he is not playing for Ajax anymore. Ajax did sell him and uh, it's actually pretty sad because he was actually a pretty good player, 21 years old and uh, 72 overall rated or 73 which is actually pretty good. We're also going to put in Ruben Ligian and Duarte on loan during the January transfer window. So that is exactly what we're going to do. I don't know why Frank de Boer did put Duarte on loan. He's actually a pretty good damn player uh, in the game. I don't know how he is in real life. I do suspect that he's actually pretty good, but we are gonna put him on uh, the short loan so he can come back during the summer. And we're also gonna put in Ruben Ligon on the short loan list. So that's what we're gonna do. And we're also gonna sell uh, some other players that their futures aren't really certain uh, in the Ajax squad. And those players are uh, Moisander. Another player that we are gonna sell is Sigbertson. So these two players, I'm looking to sell these players because I'm not really using them at the moment. Moisander, I do use him sometimes, uh, but I do plan on using him in the Champions League, but there are other great young center backs that we can use. And Sigurdsson, he's already 24 and he doesn't have that much potential. He's not that good of a striker. We already have Milik, who I am gonna buy, uh, and we also have Zivkovic. Another player that we are gonna buy during the January transfer window is going to be uh, Sinkraven. So we're gonna buy him because he is in Ajax right now. And last Gian, uh, we are gonna offer him a two-year contract because he did sign until 2017. So we're gonna sign him for two more years for a hundred thousand dollars, and he's gonna be a crucial first-team player. And he did come back and he did accept the offer. So last Gian is going to stay in Ajax for two more years. 77 rated. I think he's 23, 22 years old. So he's still pretty damn young and he's really really good so I'm really happy with the squad right now and uh, hopefully I do make this career mode as realistic as possible so far we're doing pretty well with the players we have uh, but Sinkraven will be a very good player to add to the squad now we are gonna come up in the game versus Velum 2 I think that's the squad name not really sure if you guys could correct me go ahead down there but let's get into the game and let's see what happened in the game This is a squad that we are bringing up today and the reason I made so many changes is because our next game is going to be in the Champions League versus Chelsea. So we did make some changes. Milik is going to be the starting striker from now on and we did switch our fullbacks. We put in Ligian and Vergever. So those two will be playing in today's game. So will Duarte. I want to use him as much as I can before uh, he does leave in the January transfer window to another team when he is put on loan. So in this game we weren't playing that well and the opposing team was doing pretty damn well on keeping the ball they had some pretty good chances here look at this beautiful shot it just goes by and Jasper Sillison got very close he was gonna touch that but there was no way he was gonna get to that it was around a foot away from the goal post so that was actually a pretty good attempt here here's Gian he opens it up to Ligian there's a center Milik with the header and that was the only opportunity that we did have in the first half not a very impressive game from Ajax we kept losing the ball I don't know why the midfield didn't connect with the offense and that really did hurt us in the game because we only had one opportunity and the opposing team was doing pretty well on shutting us down. Now, 
it was time to make some switches during the halftime break. I switched the formation to a 4-2-3-1. We left the same players. All we did was change the formation. Now this did help us out, but our defense was very shaky. Our center back comes into attack, only leaves three defenders. There's a shot, but thank God that strike was so horrible. So after that opportunity, it was time to take out some players. So we put in uh, new players in and we take out Stian and uh, Vergever to put in some new fresh legs. So here's Kish now getting in dribbling past players like nothing. And that opportunity was very close. We could have made it one nail there. And here's a great opportunity. Great pass to Davi Klaassen. And Davi Klaassen, how did you not score that? Still no, not at the moment. Milik to Kishna. Ricardo Kishna was trying his best. And there is a shot. It just goes wide. And that was another great opportunity for Kishna. The 4-2-3-1 was doing very well. Kishna on the attack. Beautiful counterattack here. Kishna on the wing. He continues on. There's a shot. And it just goes over the bar. And we do draw the game. Nil-nil. And that was a very, very difficult game in the first half. During the second half, we were playing much better, and uh, we did have a lot of opportunities. And I am going to give the vote for man of the match for today's game to Ricardo Kishna. He did get a 5.9, but he was the one that got all the opportunities. He didn't seal them, but he got a good amount of opportunities. Now, we did reach the end of today's episode, and the next game will be facing Chelsea in the Champions League. And this is our group. It's extremely difficult. We have Chelsea, PSG, we have us Ajax and Besiktas. So this is a very, very difficult group. I don't know how we're going to do. Only time will tell, but we can at least get that second place spot, either knock out Chelsea or PSG, who are the ones that are the favorites to go on to the next round. But this is the end of the episode. If you guys did enjoy it, remember to leave a like, a comment and subscribe for new. And hopefully I can take out uh, some more videos this week but this is the end of the video that's pretty much it i'm quinkin and i'll see you guys next time